Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to design this WooCommerce page on any page in Divi. So here we have a product. I was also able to add all these elements here just by using Divi modules. So this is what we're going to be doing in today's video. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, guys. Let's get started. So what we're going to do here is we are going to, first of all, go ahead and install WooCommerce. Now, I've already gone and done that. This is absolutely free, by the way. So all you have to do is to come over here to plugins, click on add new, search for WooCommerce. Next, you want to click install and then activate. Now, once you've done that, you're good to go. You are going to have WooCommerce installed, and this is where you have your entry to add all your products. Now, let's go ahead and add our first product. So, I'm going to hover over here and click on Add New. We're going to give this product a name. So, let's just call this Drone, because I know I have an image of a drone. We're going to add the description like that. And then further down here, we're going to add the price. So, let's say this is $4.99. And then uh, over here, if we need to, we can just choose our category. Uh, by creating a new ad category here, it will be added. So I'm just going to choose latest. Now, over here on the product image, this is where we need to add our image. So I have some images in the library here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So this is my drone here. Now, if you don't have an image of your product, you need to upload it from your computer. You can just come over here and then select the files and they will be uploaded onto your media library. Okay, so I've selected my drone here. I'm going to say set product image. So now I have my drone selected over here. Next, if we need to, we can add our short description here, which is maybe a few lines of our product description. And then pretty much we are good to go. I'm going to hit publish. Okay, great. So now that we've added our product, we can take a look at it here. Okay, so here's our product. So as we take a look at this, you can see that this is the actual product page, but we want to have this on our own page. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to add a brand new page by coming over here to this plus button and then say page. Now let's call this drone. Let's just call this drone 2 I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. I'm going to build this from scratch and we are going to use a two column structure here. And uh, on the left here, the trick here is we have all our modules here, our WooCommerce modules, but to make things easier, I just search for it. So I'm going to search for Woo image. There we go. I'm going to select my image. Now what I can do is I can click on this drop down and then choose my drone. Uh, why do I have two? I think I must have added two drones in here. Okay. Anyway, that's my drone right there. So I've added my image. That's fantastic. I can save this and I can continue on and start adding other elements. So now I'm going to go in here and add my Woo title. And here we go. I'm going to select that. And that's my drone. I can continue on and add even more elements here. So this time I need a um, description. So I'm going to say Woo description. There we go. I'm going to select that. Right, so I can go in now and customize that text by just coming over here to design text. And I'm going to change this to, say, Poppins. Increase the size. Yeah, let's go with 16. And I'm going to do the same to the drone. I'm going to go in here and change the title. Let's change this to Poppins as well. Great. I'm going to, uh, in fact, let's make it all caps and bold like that. And then increase the size a little bit. Right. So 34 will work fine for this. I'm going to save that. And then we may also need an add to cart button. So I'm going to search for add to cart. There we go. So all these elements I'm adding here are the WooCommerce elements, which make our design really, really amazing. So now I can go in here and choose my specific product, which is the drone. And let's go in now and customize our button. So I'm going to come over here, activate use custom styles for button. So all I need to do here is to just change the um, text and also the colors. So I'm going to go ahead, choose my dark color here. And I'm going to go ahead and also add my background color. I think that should work fine. Okay, let me go with that orange. And I'm also going to add this on the border like that. And then I'm going to change my font here to Poppins. There we go. 
I'm going to make it all caps. And I'm also going to make it uh, bold because I really want that to stand out. And then over here, this one, I think I can go in and change the um, font here. Let's go to Poppins. And here we go. So now everything here is looking great. And we also need the price because we don't have the price to this. So let's go ahead and add our pricing. And I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for price. And here we go. Woo price. Great. So again, on the product here, let's choose our specific product, which is the drone. And that's our price. So I'm going to come over here now to the design and set my price. So notice I'm back over here on the price itself because I need to click here on the paintbrush tool so that I can go directly to edit that price. So I'm going to come over here with the price font, change this to Poppins. I'm going to change the color. So let's see what color I can go with. Perhaps I could go with this. Nah. Okay, we're going to go with this color here. Okay, great. Uh, next, I am going to uh, make this bold. And I don't think we need to make it really bold. Let's go semi-bold. All right. So we don't really need to go in and uh, make it bigger. I think the price there is fine. I can now save this. So we can further style this if we need to by adding a background color and uh, all that great stuff. But you know what? I'm going to keep things very simple here. I'm just going to go in and let's see what happens when we add background colors. Okay. Mm, maybe let's just make it. Wow, that's starting to look great. So let's go with a light gray here. Okay, so I think this really subtle gray here could work. I'm going to go with that. And then over here on the design, I'm going to go to my border and set my border to about six. Just to, just to give this some rounded corners. And what I'm also going to do is to give my design here some breathing space by coming over here to spacing. And I'm just going to give this a padding of 2% all around. Okay. Uh, if that's not enough, I'm going to increase this a bit more. Let's see what this looks like. And I think that looks great. I'm now going to save this. And then over here now, I can see I have a color here in the background. Let's go ahead and get rid of it because it is really messing up our designs. I'm going to get rid of that color. And now we have our product here that we've created from scratch using Divi. Now, for those of you that don't use or haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. So you get to learn this and even more in the actual course. So as you can see, Divi is very, very powerful to design professional looking websites. And using this example, I was able to add WooCommerce elements on a specific page that I created. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.